What's up guys, Cody here, continuing on with my item review for Aetheral. So we're on to axes. The axes give physical power for the most part, along with some things. Okay. I haven't really looked at them. I guess they give physical power and pen. Yep, they all give physical power and physical pen, which is pretty interesting. Um, just... My thoughts off the bat, I haven't, like I said, I haven't looked at these in depth too much. Um, but thoughts right off the bat, physical power and physical pen generally mean um, good early game items, um, which you, I know what one of them, one of these are, but like in League of Legends, ADCs can pick up an early uh, armor pen item to get a quick burst in uh, damage, which I'm assuming like, yeah, this is your tier 2, 20 and 25 and 10%. So, yeah, that's probably something that we're going to see uh, potentially happen in this. Um, also, assassins, they're going to be picking this up. They're going to be picking up at least one of these probably just because armor pin. So, um, yeah, the stats seem pretty, I guess. This obviously is not as much as, like, other items. So this definitely looks like it's very much geared towards early game. But, yeah. We're going to start with the Axe of Credo. This one, I do know what it does. It makes 20% of your true damage. Or 20% of your crit, if, if 20 of your critical damage into true damage. So this is pretty strong. This is definitely going to be if you have some type of like crit assassin build going on, this is what you're going to be getting. Uh and ADCs are probably going to be getting this as well. Um at least like I would imagine so. Like especially if you're like especially this could make you snowball super hard early on as like a second item. This could be pretty devastating. Even as a first item, this could be really devastating um to deal with. Uh, yeah, if this ends up being, like, if this ends up, depending upon, like, how this, how the meta ends up playing out for, like, build paths, um, there's two types of build path metas in League of Legends for ADC over the course of its duration for crit build. Um, there was in the past, um, the buy infinity edge first into... Pretty much like runans or your like any your attack into like two attack speed items. Pretty much that used to be the thing, and then they've changed it now. Where now it's getting infinity edge third. So they do have an infinity edge like item in the game, and depending upon how things go, you it's probably gonna end up being the same meta. It probably gonna end up being one of those two metas. I think what's probably going to happen is, if I had to guess, it's probably going to be get the Infinity Edge like item, the third item. Just because that's when it's going to be most effective and whatnot. Um, that's when you're going to have a lot of crit chance going on as well. Um, actually, there is, I think one of them is an attack speed item as well, so you could get that second actually, if you really wanted to. But you're giving up on other things. Yeah, I bet you could get a second. Somewhat depends on how much it costs, once again. But I think this is going to potentially be a first buy for a lot of a lot of different builds. A lot of builds that use crit. As far as I believe, this is the only one that has this ability. I haven't seen any others that do. Um... So yeah, Axocrito, really good item, I think. I think it's a really strong item. The Parhelion Havoc, Plate Tritter. Dealing physical damage to a target reduces its armor by 5%, second up to a total of 20% at 4 stack. So this is a uh, Black Cleaver. Okay. 40 physical power, 10 physical pen, 10%. Um... I mean, clearly it's a good item for dealing with tanks, but 
definitely not something that you'd get early on. It's definitely like because I'm thinking of like how Black Cleaver works on Assassin. That's kind of what I'm like comparing this to. And Black Cleaver on Assassins, you generally get pretty late into the So that's probably what's going to end up happening with this one. Even then, yeah, that's probably what's going to end up happening with this one. That is probably like a late game Assassin item. So if you're having to build this, then it's probably pretty upsetting that you're having to build this. Um... Like the game, like either super fed or the game's dragged on really long and your usefulness is falling short. Um, just because that's how assassins always are. Assassins' usefulness is gets less and less as the game progresses. Granted, like they can, they they get have an easier time in in killing um, squishies. Only if though that the uh, team doesn't play around protecting squishy though, or um, or if the squishy is like mispositioning. So, yeah, I'm not um sure about this. Like, I, I, I like, I get, I get, I get its purpose and whatnot. Um, and it's not like it's bad. It's just more so the situations in which you're building this are either it doesn't matter and you could probably get away with a different item potentially, um, or it's it it's so late into the game that you're pretty much anyways it's a necessary item this one that fortunately doesn't isn't quite needed that often but i guess i guess if like a tank is super fed then yeah it's nice to have but it's it's meant to be an assassin item i'm pretty sure so just like how all of these are kind of meant to be assassin items for the all physical damage pierces through 15 to 30 percent the target's armor. So you're stacking these. Yeah, stacking these. 100% stacking these. This is also, I don't know what bow items there are off the top of my head. But I'd look to them a little bit. I don't remember seeing an item that was like a last whisper item um so i mean overall it's it's a last whisper item it's 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 just quartering's edge unlucky number dealing physical damage to an enemy reduces their healing ah uh, this is pious or grievous uh sex up to four times Um, and I, they're really like, there's not, okay, so there's not a last whisper item in bows, there's not a last, there's not a grievous wounds item in bows either, there might be something in swords that I just don't remember. I mean, Overall, it's okay. It, 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 some of this depends on cost. This one, I don't really care about the stats on it. I care about the cost on it more than... That's are nice. And obviously, like, having the stack this four times means that it's better on someone that can actively stack it well. But, yeah. You can't, like, you... At, at a certain point, like, you can't, you can't get more axes. Like especially like on an ADC, like you like you want crit chance. On like on a traditional ADC, I should say crit chance. You could do a build without crit, but I imagine like it's that would be more of like an early game, mid game build. It's gonna fall off pretty hard as the game continues to progress though. So, um especially like you're gonna especially if like you're building a bunch of axes, building a bunch of physical then as soon as somebody builds tank, you're fucked. So Yeah, I don't know. Depends how much healing there is in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another item that does something like this, but I just remember it off the top of my head. So I don't know. It's an anti-healing item. It's this one kind of just depends on like how the game state is. All physical damage it deals two hundred percent increased damage to shield. 
He doesn't get 40 physical. That's more than the other items. A lot more than the other items. Um, this more so seems like a situational item, though. Well, it's like, so the thing is, like, they're all assassin items. But the problem is, is that any of these as, like, a first buy as an assassin item. Um, makes it awkward to me. Like, obviously, like, there's other things, like, so, but, and the axes in general are not something that you're going to be buying first. They're really looking like items that, like, outside of Axe of Credo, Axe of Credo is the only one I can see buying really early on because of the fact that you get extra damage. But a lot of this other stuff is pretty late game or mid. So. Yeah, um, outside of like, you know, maybe there was a, maybe based on how the game state is, getting this 10 extra physical pen early on might be really good, depending upon like how cheap. Um, just hold on to that item for, so you, like for a really long time, but just because that gives you such an early power spike, but I, oh, that's going to be the case, but I don't know. Overall, it's like, it, it, there's nothing like amazing about these outside of Rito, I think. I think all of these other ones are like pretty generic. Like this is Black Fever, this is like Whisper, this is a, a healing reduct item, and this item is a lot of physical pen, but its passive is only if the enemy has a lot. Of um. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, eh, uh, that's kind of eh is the best way to describe it. Um, nothing special here. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Books is gonna be next. Yeah, again, doing a video on all the items. Um, so like and subscribe if you want to see more of that. And I stream over on Twitch, Twitch.tv slash sidew. Twitch.tv slash slash My voice, my mouth, slash CW5136. Um, I stream League of Legends right now. When this game comes out, I'll be streaming a lot of it. So. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.